cloud. Okay, so welcome everyone. This is Google Season of Docs office hours for September 17th. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, and Zina, do you want to take us through the agenda? Um, okay, so um, I started working on um, documentation on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes. So um, probably if it is possible for us to review that today and discuss about it, I also um, configured um, Katakoda and installed Helm. So I've been reading on those um, tools I'm hoping, I was thinking we would have the session, would have had the session with Maki, but since we're not able to have that, I think I'll just um, save my questions to see when we have the knowledge sharing session. Um, what else did I do? So, so you I'll share the link already... right now. Okay. I'll share the link to, I started working, the draft of the documentation is in um, Google Docs. So I'll share the link now. So, Um, so for this, I'm still going to make um, a couple of changes to the documentation. And and this this looks like a great start. Thank you for drafting it. It looks this looks exceptional. So the idea is that reviewers like me and Kristen and Marky could make comments in the Google Doc as you're evolving it quickly? Exactly. Before um, opening a pull request on Jenkins.io. Great. This, this looks wonderful. Kristen, are you okay with that, that review technique? Yes. Then, okay. Go ahead, Zina. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to mention something else. Okay, yes. Um, for the structure of the documentation, as discussed in the last meeting, I'm not done with that, but I I started working on something I'm going to share with you also. That's how we intend to merge um, Jenkins on Kubernetes documentation with existing documentation on Jenkins.io. 
So, and this is based on uh, notes from previous meetings, and now you're refining and improving that, uh, giving getting more ideas there. Yeah. Oh, oh good. You... Yeah. Excellent. So, oh, no, sorry. I think this is the wrong link. This is a proposal. Ah, okay. That one is just the structure. Yeah, yeah, this looks like the original proposal, right? Yeah, I have a document with just the structure here. Yeah. So we don't have to scroll through the whole document. Okay, so I shared the link. Excellent, thank you. Oops, let me get it. And it is here. Okay, very good. Okay. And I, let me link Welcome. into that. Very good. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, scroll to the last page. Okay, yeah. So, um, since I'm working on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, I have not updated the latter part of our work on this. But for installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, I don't know, I propose putting it under installing Jenkins. So I noticed there are different platforms. Yes. So I don't know if this works or if it would be better somewhere else. For me, this works great. I think that's very reasonable. Uh, that means people who want to install Jenkins will find find links in to all the installation instructions in this one document. So that that seems very reasonable to me. I might I might put Kubernetes. I wonder should it be below war file? But really, you know, it's probably more popular to do it on Kubernetes anymore, or becoming more popular than using a war file. So that's right. great where you put it. Right, especially if Docker is that high up, it makes sense to have Kubernetes. Right, okay, right. So. I suspect Kubernetes is at the moment maybe marginally less popular than Docker. Docker right. is probably rapidly overtaking. So, yeah. Yeah, I can see that because if you're using Docker as kind of a test environment or you just want to spin something up quickly, like as a preview, and then eventually move to doing it more formally in your Kubernetes, you know, experimentation, I guess, like, like that would be. Right, right. I can see using it. it using Docker for preview environments or test right. environments, or we've got ci.jenkins.io that runs a Docker image of Jenkins. Mm -hmm just in Docker, no Kubernetes. And and that's one step on our direction towards Kubernetes eventually for CI.jenkins.io. So this this looks great to me. Uh, Zina, thanks very much. Okay, so um, I'll keep updating this. This um, is current content for Jenkins.io. So I'll keep updating this. Um, template here with the new content for Jenkins on Kubernetes. So if at any point we need to create a new volume, probably 
the content I want to document does not really relate to anything that is already existing, then that's when I'll create a new volume. But for now, I'll just keep updating. Great. And, and so when you say new volume, for instance, that would mean something, if, we, if you find you need to create something at the top level here. Yes, yes. All right. That, that looks exceptional. Very, very good. Anything else you want to review on, on that document structure proposal? Um, no. All right. So really see the proposal for the insertion points. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So mentors, comment. Or submitting uh, PR. There we go. Okay, great. Uh, next topic we had on the list was knowledge sharing sessions. I apologize that Marky was not feeling well. Let's see, has Marky joined us? I not yet. Okay, he had a meeting that he said was running late. And so there was a chance he, he may be still late yet to join us. Um, the proposal was to have the session, to shift the session that we had planned for yesterday to be during Monday's office hours session. So this time Monday. Is that okay for you, Zina? Yes, that's fine. Okay. All right. And, and Mark, he had suggested he would like to do Helm and Katakota at that time. Um, yeah. And that felt good to me. And then if we want to have Torsten Walter do an additional session on Katakota or on Helm, Helm, that can also happen later. Yes, that sounds great. Super, thank you. All right. So anything else on the knowledge sharing sessions? Um, no, nothing else. Okay, and in your, I guess I have a question that I didn't put on the agenda. Let me put it up here is uh, cluster access. So did, were you able to use Minikube like we had hoped? Yes, yes, I was able to use Minikube. Excellent, okay, so you, you don't, you aren't at a point where we have to do a cloud hosted thing yet. So that's, that's no. great. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. All right. I had one item updating the Google season of docs documentation page on Jenkins.io. I've submitted that pull request. I uh, would love to have reviews of it. I'm sure Oleg will be one of the reviewers of it. All right. I'm hopeful. Uh, I think I've made things accurate and moved things around just a little bit without being too terribly disruptive. If you find something that I've made a mistake on, by all means, tell me right in the pull request. Okay. And then and also, um, I wanted to ask a question about the last pull request I made. That's um, making changes to the layout. Hmm? The layout. No, I like raised something in the last year. Yeah. Okay, should we go look at that? Let's go read the comments. Let's see. If yeah, the navigation find. menu. Uh -huh. yeah, just a minute. So let's. Okay, so we need the closed PRs, author. Mm -hmm. Oh, now that's interesting. Oh, I didn't finish my typing. Okay, so was it the add yes. Jenkins on Kubernetes? Okay, so let's look at this one and let's make the text big enough to read. Okay, so the concern was, oh, the yes. menu, okay. Okay, so, so 
is your question, how do you do that? Oh, yes. How do I do this? Okay, so let's take a look at that. And what I think you would do is this is, this is a Hamel, a Ruby derivative indentation based markup language that represents HTML by using indentation as, as the way of hinting at what the structure of the document is. And so mm -hmm. what we would need to do is you'd need to take, let's see, let's find the place. There should be a Google so projects. Yeah. So projects. And if we look there, okay. Jenkins area meetups. Ah, ah, yes. Okay. Got it. All right. So what this does now, is it iterates over the list of projects in the in the directory structure and places those into the sub projects and i think what we would we, we could take a simple approach and say after doing all that iteration we copy copy something that looks like where is it looks like well, for instance, like this, these two lines right yeah. after this entry here, so that in the drop down menu, there would be a new row added with a percent a dot item feature. Oh, no, no, sorry, it would be one level deeper. And it would be one of these. Okay. That so let, let, let me bring it up just to be sure that I'm, I'm not giving bad, bad guidance, but I think what we want is we want to add something to the end of this list. At least that's my proposal is either yeah. because overview is at the top, it's going to iterate the list. And so we then put, let's see if I can see double check is Overview. Oh yes. Okay. So you could, you could also put it above the list. If you were to insert it between lines 101 and 102, okay. that would, that would also work, but it's it, the, my mm -hmm. mental model is either we put it above the top of the list or at the end of the list. And what you do is insert an entry there, which says, so if we look, yeah, if we, we, we want something that's sort of like wiki or issue tracker. So if we look at how issue tracker is done, it would be these two lines. Oops, it would help if I could copy those two lines. You could replicate here to either line after line 100 or after line 105 and put the correct text in them for where it's supposed to link. Oh, okay. So um, my question would be like, for the other drop down menus, like community plugins in, in the code that's on GitHub, like in the pull, pull request on GitHub, I'm not yes, sure I'm understanding your question. Could you, could yeah, you ask so the question again? I want to ask the question from here. So I can see that for this other drop down items, they are actually explicitly defined, say for mailing list or for accounts. Yeah, exactly. They are defined. But in sub projects, we don't have, like, under the sub projects, we don't have all this um yeah exactly right right and and that's you're exactly correct what you're seeing here in in sub projects is this dash character that starts the line okay. i believe says we're now going to do ruby code at this location oh so this is actually ruby that's in line inside the page so when the page is generated by the Ruby 
the Ruby page generator. It will be turned into a static page, but it actually executes this Ruby, Ruby code. And the nested dash gives us another uh, a, a curly braced section of Ruby code that is then executed as well. So oh, okay. if, I, if I understand correctly the way Hamel works, this leading dash means this is literal Ruby code. And then okay. a, percent, a percent A says this is HTML code or becomes HTML code. Okay. Okay, I think I, that's clearer. So I'll just add um, another option that's after line 105 for okay. um, Jenkins on Kubernetes. Well, or, yeah, let's see, so and did we decide it was, I think we did decide it was Jenkins on Kubernetes. Yes. Okay, great, very good. So, so you're, I, I apologize that this is, this is, this shows a, a bent towards programming and programmatically generated sites. And I apologize for that, but it makes the, the site much more consistent because we use this programmatic technique. Okay. Okay, that's fine then. Thank you. All right. So let me make a note of that. So I've discussed how um, Ruby is used. Ruby and Hamel used to generate the pages. Got it. Okay. So you're you're okay with that description? Yes, I am. Okay, great. And if you if you have question, you're welcome to ask me in Gitter chat. Um, okay. In the docs Gitter chat, there are others there who are also familiar with Hamel. So there okay. should be several of us available who can help with it. Okay. All right. Any any other questions that you had, or any other topics we need to bring up today? So, and this is Kristen, Marky. I do there... apologize for being late. Oh, oh, well, hey, Marky, since you're here, um, that's that's wonderful. Uh, are you at a spot where you want to do some already get started on the Monday office hours topics of Katakota and Helm? Uh, I think we've largely completed the agenda topics we had with Zenob. And if you'd like, we've got time. Zenob, do you still have time that you could stay for another as much as 30 minutes? Yes, I, yes, I, I do not. Unfortunately, I don't will have to move that to Monday, leave that for Monday. Okay. But I Monday do have is my great. session ready to do for both of those. Excellent. Okay. So we are set for Monday then. That's perfect. All right. Well, then. Anything else, Dina, Marky, or Kristen? Nothing from me. Nope. Nothing from me. All right. I think I think we can call our session done for today. Then, Zina, congratulations, Marky. Had you seen this this marvelous work here? So, project. Let's see. Here we go. Zina has started creating the documentation. She's now five or six pages into a Google Doc, wait, looking for feedback from, from mentors on the content before she submits it as a pull request. She's got a proposal for the structure here, including where to insert the Kubernetes install. And, and she's looking at how, and we did a review of Hamel of how to do the, uh, how to do the insertion of the entry into the menu. I will go over that doc today and have my feedback shortly. Oh, excellent. Thank you. All right. Well, Zina, thanks very much. I'm going to go Enjoy ahead that. and end the meeting then. Enjoy the session. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.